Now we're working with Mudbox. What I'd like to show you is how we can bring in an exported model from Maya or Studio Max, begin sculpting within Mudbox, and then apply those sculpting changes to additional facial blend shapes. I'll start by saying import. I'm going to find an OBJ file. And what you'll notice is this particular file has been brought in at the very low stage, the low poly stage. We're now going to increase that initially. So I'll select my object and I'll say subdivide section. Once again, subdivide my selection and one more time. I'll just do three times on this particular demonstration. Now you'll notice the brush is currently activated with the mirror. In this case it's on the Z, the Z. If I select on my soft brush, you'll notice I have a mirror, Z. And so that's going to allow me to paint on both sides of the head simultaneously. It's usually wise to actually step down and do your sculpting on the low versions slowly building up. So I'm going to step back down to my active level 1. 0 is what I had brought the model in at. And my highest level is 3. And so I can begin to start sculpting now on this model. The details. Because Mudbox happens to work very much like Maya, many of the same hotkeys work. For example, Z will, Control Z will actually back up or undo. And B will allow me to adjust my brush size automatically. Holding down Control will allow me to invert my selection and cut away as opposed to add. When I'm happy with the sculpting on the lower setting, I'll then go ahead and increase my level to the next level and once again begin doing the same. And so what you do is you slowly increase. You don't start at the highest setting and just begin painting very fine detail, but you work slowly from the lower level and build up as you go along. Okay, so you get the idea. When you're ready to export this, you can go ahead and create a displacement map or normal map, which can then later be applied to your low poly mesh head if you choose so. However, because we have been pushing vertices, you do want to save this model out or export this model out as its new low geometry. So I'll select my geometry and I'll step the level down looking at my active level until it turns to zero. I'm now at the lowest setting and I'll go ahead and I'll select once again and say export my selection and I'll save this particular head out. Okay. The next step is to then bring in your, your new sculpted head that has all of your fine detail and then to import in the additional blend shape heads that you'd like to apply that detail to. So I'd like to show you that now. I'm going to go to one of my recent files. This particular file has all of the detail painted in. You'll notice Mudbox will start to slow down once you reach level 4 and higher. OK, 
Okay, we have one more level. Okay, and it has detail skin wrinkles in the model. So to apply this now to a different face, what I need to do is once again bring geometry back down so that it is the same number of vertices as the vertices that are coming in, being imported. So we have one more. So with this low vertice selected, I will say import as layer this time. And I'll find my my head shape. In this case, I'm looking for the default shape, and I'll say open. It will ask me to match by. I want the vertex ID, and I'll say OK. And you'll notice that my head shifted over slightly, and the reason for that is I made a small error in the early stages of modeling when I exported out and brought into Mudbox. My translation was actually offset on this object. And you can see here my translation is over here. So when you import in a new layer it's going to offset your model by that distance. Okay, A small problem but easily fixed after the sculpting has been completed. In Maya we can simply center the pivot and freeze transformations before creating our blend shape and it will still work okay. So now with this selected Remember, this now has all of that information on it. So I can bring the levels back up on this object. And this face now has all of that fine detail that we had in the earlier screen version. Just when the face is in this more comfortable pose, it's knuckles in it that it's currently showing. So what I can do rather than work backwards where I put all my detail on a default head and then have to add it to my additional faces I could simply take away now and take away I can do with just a smooth tool. so I can literally brush I need to be on the correct layer I could literally brush over sling them out one method. Mudbox also allows me to use split variable onto layers such as alpha maps and that will allow me to later on just turn off the layer or turn down the layer as a trans -B. only have changes so one simply brush over seeing the muscles particular head and all that's required at this stage now is to export out this selection once again lowering the vertex count unless you plan on making all of your blend shapes with the high poly count in this case 273,000 polygons you need to bring this model back down to its stage zero level export it out but also go ahead and produce your dis displacement and normal maps at the level four so that you have your, all your high detail that can be, then be applied within Maya